morning, everyone. Hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back, everybody, to Loving It on Keto. Woo, how the heck is everybody? I'm sorry, we gotta stop right here. Why? Because I, 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 the shoes. What do you mean, my shoes? I gotta shut My these snake shoes. shoes. These are my So Kofi shoes. They're very comfy, cozy. My booties. They're snakeskin. They're leather. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. My, tu my turquoise oh, scaly. top. They're scaly. Yeah, they're comfy. Good for I like them because they zip, you know? Yeah, I know. They zip. Yeah, nice. And it's cold this morning in the house. Isn't it, Harry? Yeah, it's a bit, bit I just asked Alexa how cold it was right now, and it's 69 now. It's supposed to get up to almost 80 I know, today. 69. But it's like... It's almost 11.30, so we're starting a little bit late. I got busy. I'm working from home right now. For those of you who are new, I'm home officed, and I start working at 7, and I've just been boom, 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 boom down the road. Also, it is a today on the February Spring and Weight Loss BBBE Challenge. It is an 18-hour fast or six hour eating window. It's a regular BBBE eating day after that, after you break your fast. You can have one keto chow if you like and take a walk. And I think you and I need to get outside and take a walk today. Uh, not me. Oh, that's gonna right, because you have a hip. Ain't gonna happen. I keep forgetting. I, I know. don't know how come. I know you do. Anyway, Especially you guys. Especially when it comes to bending over and getting stuff. You can bend from the waist and go down to the ground. Oh, listen to her, boy. Yeah. You can. Well, you can. Anyway, you guys, he's hobbling around. He has a uh, left hip replacement surgery scheduled for April 12th. Yep, yep. Anyway, you guys, whew, it's been a crazy morning. I got our drinks all ready, but I need to fix my magnesium because it's almost out and they're really easy to refill. So I'm gonna refill that real quick. Because before I forget because you see it just has a dinky I don't think you can see because there's a label but you just pop this top off just wiggle it loose then I just take my container of the big one I just put this right on top and give it a good squeeze and fill it up Whoop, there we go it's full. Put the big one back in the box. And put the little one, pop that lid right back on. And close her up. I did use the little bit of magnesium drops in our morning elixir. Yes, indeed. These are our morning elixir. And we have 22 ounces of ice water in there. And I put about 10 drops of magnesium drops for the morning in there, and we use about 20 at night. Um, that's why we got the big bottle, because we go through that. I put 10 drops of the daily minerals in there, and then 10 drops at night. Um, we put one drop of iodine. I use MSM Pure Coarse Flakes in. We use a teaspoon of that, and that helps joint and cartilage uh, maintenance. Also, you guys, I am not a doctor. We're not doctors. We're not nurses. We're not medical practitioners. This is what we do for us. If you want to change or add anything to your daily routine, vitamins, minerals, any of those things, talk with your doctor first, specifically if you are taking prescription medications because something could be counterindicative for you. This is what Harry and I do. This morning, we had... Um, Real light immunity, I had pineapple orange, Harry had blackberry. Now you guys, the powdered electrolytes tend to taste a little bit on the salty side for most of the, for most part. That's because the main ingredient, of course, is sodium. So if you're having an issue finding one that you like, maybe you wanna switch to an electrolyte pill. I know there are several ones out there. Um, Keto Chow makes one. Real Light makes one. Um, Perfect Keto makes one. Adapt, Adapted Nutrition makes one. 
So if you're finding that all of the electrolytes you're trying are too salty, maybe you might need to do that instead. Just wanted to share that because someone was asking on the Facebook group. Now, adaptive nutrition electrolytes are the mildest. They're just very, they have a slight sweet taste. They're, they're really not salty. I know LMNT is salty. Um, so is uh, the Perfect Keto um, mix, the flavors. Um, so you might want to try either Adaptive Nutrition uh, or um, try one of the capsules. And we do have um, discount codes for most of those, if not all of them, down in the description below for everybody. But I just wanted to bring that up because if you're sensitive to the taste of salt, that might be something you may need to do instead. But that also means you may not be eating enough salt on your food and you really need the electrolytes. Well, so, everybody should be taking them. Anyway, absolutely, absolutely. And so I've got Harry and my vitamins all taken care of. Our elixir's done. I want to remind everybody with that that everything that you eat or drink the day before, sometimes two days prior, can have a direct effect on your weight or water retention. Like Harry said, he's going through pain and issues with his hip. He also has a headache today. Um, I am, uh, we are both recuperating from the zombie apocalypse lockdown virus C. We have to call it something else. We are not making light of it, but we cannot say the technical term because we are not doctors. And uh, Facebook is, is, YouTube. Uh, I mean, excuse me. Well, everybody is actually. YouTube is giving us, uh, they could demonetize us or give us a strike just for using that word. I know it's crazy, but that's the truth. But I have um, issues still with my respiratory um, deep breathing and we're trying to get over this still. So um, some of the things that we are doing is for help, for help for us. One of the things that is happening, at least for me, is I am craving protein. And as I cannot stress enough, eat protein. If you're craving food, specifically sweets or any food, go for your protein first. Grab some protein, eat a good amount of protein, and then wait about 20 minutes, drink a nice big, tall glass of water with that and see if the cravings dissipate, if they go away. So uh, Harry and I are trying to eat no less than our lean body mass weight per pound per gram of protein. So my lean body mass weight is 120, so I need at least 120 grams of protein per day. Harry's lean body mass weight is 133 pounds so he needs at least 133 grams of protein which i think i met day. yesterday we both pretty much met met ours and exceeded ours which is really really good yesterday i had four scrambled eggs you didn't see me but i did have two pieces of bacon or no i did have bacon on my plate yeah you had it on your plate you were the one that had the bacon later yeah two teaspoons unsweetened primal ketchup I had a liverwurst, board, a boar's head liverwurst sandwich um, with BBBE bread and mustard. And last night I batch cooked a bunch of meat, two big, three big sirloin steaks and lamb last night. And I ended up having at five o'clock, we both got hungry, so we both had some steak. I had seven ounces. My carbs were 11 grams, my fat was 98, my protein was 129, my calories were higher, which is really good. I'm trying to get higher, 1,447 uh, 1, for my calories. Harry had four ounces of turkey spam. Yes, I said spam. Now, I wanna say something very nicely. There are no keto police here at our at our um, channel and yes spam has some ingredients in it that may not align with what you eat or with what you want to eat but we have a cupboard and a pantry full of canned meats that we purchased during lockdown and we need to rotate those foods and one of them is spam harry and i have grown up on spam we like spam we know that there are ingredients in it that may or may not meet your requirements but they meet ours and so therefore you will see spam on occasion on our channel you will see hot dogs on occasion 
on our channel. You will see baloney on occasion on our channel. So you do for you and we'll do for us and everybody will be happy that way. Anyway, he had three <laughs> fried eggs. He had three bacon. He had four ounces of so liverwurst. There. No, <laughs> no. Two BBBE bread, two tablespoons of mustard, and eight ounces of sirloin steak. Carb, he had 12 grams of carbs, 93 grams of fat. Protein was 151 grams, and total calories were 1,502. Everybody's body's different. I am highly allergic to aspartame. Equal. It causes grand mal seizures in me. You may be allergic to sucralose. You may be allergic to stevia. You know, some of the sweeteners that are out there. You may be sensitive to, uh, oh, let me see. What else is there? I can't eat MSG. And there's a lot of seasonings that have MSG in it. Oh, yeah. You so have I have to read labels like crazy. So you guys, I'm not being mean, but we're here showing you what we do for us. And yes, we'd love to have you come along, such as our challenge, but you don't have to. You know, you do what works best for you. And if you found that out, that is absolutely awesome. And if you're losing weight on it, don't change. Don't change the formula if it's working for you. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, what did we weigh yesterday? I went down a pound. I'm playing yo-yo back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. Went down to 176. Harry went down to 173. Maybe we can both get back down. And um, before the zombie apocalypse lockdown virus, Harry was at his goal weight, which is 165. My goal weight is 165 as well. Um, my lowest weight uh, in the keto journey that we are in was 171.6. So um, I weighed 282 pounds. Harry weighed 260 pounds. So we've lost a lot of weight. We're coming down to the end of that journey and our body's fighting it. I weighed 175 for a long time. And so when your body hits a hard set point, it's hard to get it to go down and stay down and stay there. So you're going to fluctuate below and above and below and above and below and above. And then all of a sudden you're going to, you're going to do this. When we were sick, we both lost taste and smell. So we were trying to eat things for help, nourish our bodies. And we were trying to get things. Harry was having a horrid smell issue. Oh yeah, man. Things, he smelled dead things. Oh, yeah. Karen, Karen, you know, dead animals and such. So it was very difficult for and him. And doggy droppings. Yes. Yeah, so. I went looking for him too. Well. Couldn't find anything. Anyway, um, right now we're trying to heal our bodies. Yes, it would be great to lose weight this month. But if we don't, we are healing our bodies. We're eating the necessary protein that we need to help heal our bodies. But our bodies have to be healed first before your body will release and let go of the weight. That's something else I've learned as well. Anyway, Harry's got to do the big board. So let's go to the big board. Big board. I'm hold myself up. Yeah. How you doing? Okay. Just got to hold myself up a lot. So you lean against the counter. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, you know, who knows what's going to happen here. I'm kind of, we won't really know until we find out what we eat tomorrow or today to see what's going to happen with it tomorrow. Um, I'm not going to eat pork rinds But I've anymore. noticed, but like I said, I noticed that we're just kind of like, we're doing this. We're just going, we're not really dropping anything. This is the, this is probably the biggest drop in quite a while i'd say except for when you up here you did a two pound drop. i did like a whoosh yeah right here yeah and but I then did, it came I right went back. down to one and two that day so and the thing about it was you look over here we had chicken thighs uh we had the bread we had you know bread we had an ice cream even we still both went down so who knows man and then well that was our low fat meat day was it yeah super low fat meat. yeah and, and uh, Friday's a low-fat meat date, is it, on the calendar? I'm trying to read it. I don't know. No, Saturday is. Okay. Sorry. So, 
who knows, man? All we can do is just like ride this thing out and see what's going to do. But uh, I don't know if this is working for us yet or not. But then again, we're, for diet, we're, for weight loss, purposes. right? For weight loss purposes, not for diet. But health. for health, it's pretty darn good. Yeah. But for weight loss, yeah, I'm kind of like I'm still on the fence about it. You know. And I know some of you said that body composition. You know, I, I'm, I understand that too, where you can lose inches because of the demon scale you may be losing inches instead of weight because usually you lose inches first on the ketogenic diet or lifestyle that could be keto keto or carnivore it just seems like you, you you lose inches more rapidly than you do weight which is interesting because i think that um <clears throat> water goes into the fat cell and plumps it back up after you've dropped fat so you can actually get, gain more water into a fat cell and then that has to whoosh out too. Anyway, you guys, Harry and I, it is 11, after 11.30, so we have met and exceeded our 18 hour fast. Yes, we have. So I've got to get breakfast on the grill or break fast for us and we'll bring you guys along. So come back in the next segment when I decide what we're having for breakfast. Well, you guys, Harry didn't push the button to start, so we just filmed, um, and we nothing. have no film. We just so nothing. if you look at this pan very quickly, we've got six eggs in the frying pan. Over here, I've got eight ounces of lamb fingers I batch cooked last night. I'm heating those up to eat with our breakfast. And then over here, I have got BBBE bread in the toaster. We're each going to have two slices. So I don't know what happened, Harry. Me either. Somebody forgot to push the button. I probably pushed it off instead of on. Oh, yeah, I bet you're right. Because sometimes you just set it down and it's on. Mm -hmm. So this lamb is going to be delicious with eggs. I love lamb. And this Lamb has a little had last night. I seasoned it really nicely. And we're just gonna have a really nice, nice, nice breakfast arm of herring. Yep. Just wanna heat this. I don't wanna overcook it. It's just slightly pink. That's where we like our lamb. It's just slightly pink. Put a little bit of our bacon grease in here from when we did the bacon yesterday or day before yesterday. When yesterday. did we cook bacon? Anyway, got that going, so. Just waiting to plate it. My little butter dish. Put the lid, love the lid. Yeah, see there's a screw hole on the inside of it. Yeah, and you cut it short because it's for a handle, right? Yeah. Harry likes his toast, toast, toasty. I like it just before it starts to burn. Yeah, I don't. I like mine nice and golden, like this, golden and delicious. Golden and delicious. Get the eggs out, they're ready. Move, let me turn this off. Move, babe. I need a bigger <coughs> counter, that's all I can say. Well, well when I can, I'm going to build you a center aisle. So. See, these eggs just want to slide all over the place. Excuse me. It's hard for me to get these suckers out of the pan. They just slide everywhere. It's a great pan. 
It is. I love them. I love them. For Sally's dish. For some bread. This Harry likes his. Yep, that's it. Really brown. Every nook and cranny brown. There you go. Looks delicious. But wait, there's more. Do we want to try cherry, cherry smoked salt by Redmond's on our eggs today? Sure, why not? Let's see what it's like. Want some on the lamb? Yeah, put a little bit on there too. This one looks more like more. I'm gonna give you this plate instead. I'm gonna switch it over because I know there's it's bigger on the eggs. Uh, it don't matter. And I'm what? Don't matter. All right, like we haven't heard you. Uh, measure in your head. What are you talking about? I'm talking about you, buddy. You! Look at this. Ooh, you guys. Ooh, look at that. Have you guys ever had fresh spring lamb and eggs with toast and butter for breakfast? If you haven't, you guys are missing out. You guys, we've got to eat now. I'm going to make chili. Yes, I am. I just grabbed three slices of bacon because I remember um, something. You guys, look at this. We're making chili. I have got two pounds of delicious tri-tip chopped up and some um, sirloin tip chopped up. I have got half a teaspoon of black pepper, smoked paprika, cumin, garlic, and onion. And I'm going to use two packages of spicy taco base from Keto Chow and 28 ounces of water. So, I remember watching. I think it was Joe and Rachel put uh, bacon in theirs when they make ground beef. And I thought, you know what? I've got bacon. I can add that because the sirloin is very lean. And this will help give it some really good flavor and add a little teeny bit of fat to this too. I'm only putting in three slices, but they're the thick slices that I cooked in the oven. So this should be really good. Now you can brown your meat or not brown your meat, it's up to you. I prefer not to brown my stew meat because sometimes browning stew meat makes it tough. Just me, and um, with adding the bacon and all the flavors that I'm adding today, it should taste absolutely delicious. So let me get this for my hands. I'm gonna put the water in first, right into my this is not a Instapot, but you can use it. This is a Power Pressure Cooker XL. Does the same things the same way. 
as an Instapot does. So I've got all my seasonings. I'm just gonna work them together here. Just to mix them up so that something isn't sitting on one piece of meat more than the other. Get my whisk out because I'm gonna add my two keto chows. We can have keto chow one pack a day and Harry and I, this chili should last us a couple days. So I'm gonna use one. And you need 14 ounces of water with each one. So that's 28 ounces. That's where I came up with that. I'm shaking it down, shaking it down, down. Now, if you guys don't have keto chow, you can use your favorite uh, chili seasonings that you use that are keto or carno, uh, keto vor for you. I use it because it's on our protocol and that minimalizes, I like a little bit more garlic to mine and a little bit of pepper. Now you can add the pepper at the end if you don't want to cook it in the pepper. But the, I like the spicy chili taco by Keto Chow because you guys, it's spicy. It really doesn't need that much else. So I'm just putting in the seasonings that I told you about. The garlic, the onion, a little bit of the cumin, and it was only a half a teaspoon. Herbs are allowed, herbs and spices. You know, that's a minimum amount. Oh, that smells good. Doesn't that smell good? Yeah. I know, I'm excited. Now I'm gonna put in my meat. Try not to splash. See, I cut them up into pieces. See all the pieces that I cut them up into? And then I've got my bacon. I'm going to put my bacon right in. I'm going to give this a nice stir. This is going to be nice and thick and juicy and delicious, you guys, when this comes out. This is going to, you take that inexpensive sirloin uh, stew meat. Oh, yeah. And it's going to be like butter. Yes, indeed it is. Now, put the lid on. I'm gonna let this pressurize, and now I'm gonna cook it on, I think I wanna do chicken and meat, but I wanna time adjust it. I want 30 minutes, because I want that to be juicy, tender, delicious chili. Okay, you guys, it'll bring itself up to temp. It'll cook for 30 minutes, and I'm gonna let it depressurize itself naturally. So we will come back when we have delicious BBBE chili. Yes, indeed. We've got mail. Harry went to the post office box, you guys. And look at these beauties. We've got some mail. So I thought while this is cooking and coming up to temp and doing its thing, I shall open it. Now I know some things are coming um, for mom, but I'm gonna open it and then I'll let her open it if any of these are for my mom, just so you guys know. Cause someone reached out to me and said they were sending mom. <gasps> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm excited about this. Shelly Blalock. Oh man, I'm excited for this. Harry, I think you're gonna be very excited for this too. I'm excited about everything. This is more I'm for Harry a, than for me. I'm just well, an excitable boy. Us. It's for both of us. Let's see, where can I put this? You're gonna love this. I'm gonna love this. Shelly, I'm excited. Oh yeah, Harry, you're gonna love this. Oh, what is that? It's a bacon holder, and it's oh, got yes, it's a grease. Look, it's got it's 
Scott. Let me, check this Let me get it all out. There's a little pan to set it on. I'm so excited. Oh, it's, oh, it's red. red. <laughs> Woo, Shelly. That's funny, man. I love it. I love it. I love this. Got to wash it, but I love it. Oh my gosh. Look, it's got the strainer and everything. So you pour the into here, layer, right? And then you can take the strainer out like oh, this. Oh, like yeah, for my bacon grease. And yes. Stuff. Oh, that is cool. For the bacon grease, it's a bacon That's grease a great idea. holder. Isn't that nice? Look, that it even sits on a nice little. Isn't that cute? It's dusty from the packing, but man, we're gonna have to wash that and, oh, and yeah, start I'll put it, using I'll put it. it. In the thing oh, here. Thank you so much, yeah, Shelly. I cool. love it. I love it. That's cool. And it's red. Yeah. So the icing on the cake. Yeah. Yep. You 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 put it. You strain it through the hole, and then you got all the beautiful, delicious lard in there. Oh, that oh, is oh, such a great oh, idea. Oh yeah, that is beautiful. Love when you it. first pulled it, I went, "Oh, it's a little like tea kettle or something." Oh, you thought it was a teapot? Yeah. No, that's why I said you're gonna love it. Wow, it's big too. That's great. It'll Ooh. hold a lot. We gotta Thank make a lot you. more bacon. Thank you, thank you, Shelly. I love it. Let's see, where am I gonna put this? Just stuff? throw it over there. Well, it's trash day too. Yeah, I know, just throw it over there. Now, let me get this one. I worry on things. Make noises. Yeah. Well, because they're not gentle. No, they, they aren't. They got shipping or... up and everything else. It's like Christmas. Feeling a lot like Christmas. <laughs> and Wendy doesn't know how to use scissors very well. And Harry's right now. Oh, would you out. stop pointing them at you? Jeez. Uh, I love presents. Would you like to open some presents, Harry? No, I'm good. Yeah. What does this say? Thank you both for all you do. Since your other bacon grease container got broken, I thought I would oh, no. do this. Hope you like it, Cindy Demanche. Boy, that's all right. You can always use one for lard and one for towel. Yeah, that's right, huh? Absolutely. Yeah, I didn't think Absolutely. about that. Absolutely. That's a great idea, Wendy. Because we love beef towel. Oh, yeah. I even make beef towel. I haven't made beef towel in a while. Our butcher, uh, Roy, over at Bash's, gives me beef tallow and I render it. I'll share that with everybody. Now that I have two, I'll do one for beef yeah, we gotta do, we and gotta one render. for lard. Yeah. Absolutely. Do some rendering. Absolutely. The render show. The render show. It's fun. And it's the cracklings are delicious oh, yeah, when man. you're making it too. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. This is perfect. Ooh, look at that. How oh, look at that. Oh, loving it on keto. Oh my goodness, oh my how did gosh. she do that? Look at this. You got a machine or something? In it? Oh, how'd you do Look that? Look at this. Yeah. Cindy, how cute is that? How cute is that? I that's love them neat. both. I'm going to have one for tallow. I'm telling you, one for tallow yeah, and well, one for that's, bacon. That's a good idea. That's absolutely wonderful. That way we don't get them mixed up. And that's true. And Wendy won't drop the jar. Shh. Hush. I won't. You know that big jar I showed you guys the other day? It wound up right here where I'm standing. Yes, it did. Yes, and I she did. says she doesn't break things. No, I do. Don't talk about that around my stuff. Oh. Okay, sorry. Just not going to. So I got one for Tella, one for Bacon. Thank you both so very much. And they're darling. Look at these. They're both darling. I know. Look at these. Cute, isn't it? I love it. I like that. That is really neat. And you know, these fill up really quick. Oh yeah, they, they will do. Too. So around here, I love it. I love it. I love them both. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me put this over here in my pile. I love it. Loving it on keto. Here. Now, you if you get another one, yeah, 
this is, I don't know. We'll see. Human fat. No. <laughs> You're yeah, not, if I could you're take not no, because hey, if I could just take mine off and put it in jars somewhere, that'd be great. I I'm all for that. This is Wendy's fat. No, but I think that's a good idea because I always wonder what, what I keep having to put all this stuff in all these different jars, and she never knows what's each or more. Well, because we use Manny's jars. <clears throat> yeah, we do. Plus, Manny's jars aren't pretty like these. Yeah, these and then you go, no, which one is this? Is that the bacon or is that the towel? So now we know. Yeah, because they do have a big difference in taste. And I use them for different things. Yeah. And they're both creamy white. Yep. Well, just rip it off. No, that's not fun. This is fun. This is for mom. Oh, good. You guys, look at this. Mom is going to be so excited. Oh, yeah, she's going to be really oh, excited. Oh, mom is going to be so excited, you guys. Put it all back together. I am. I'm going to put it all back together. I'll let my mom open it. I gotta see who it's from though, because I don't want her to lose the little tag. I don't want her to lose the tag. Okay, I know who this is from, and I'm gonna make sure that I got this. She said it's coming from Amazon. Um, we'll leave it. How do we? How do? We, how do we want to leave this? Oh, uh, uh, just like this? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because you had to make sure you knew what it was. Yes. You wanted to tell her what it yeah, is. Yeah, she, she, you guys, we'll have her open it when she comes over. She's coming over for chili. Yeah. So I'm going to put this on the table, you guys. This is so exciting. Yeah. She's going to love it. Yeah. Okay, let's see what this is. Maybe in Harry. Uh. Phone call. Phone call. You know, I have a pink box cutter in my pink tool bag that Harry always steals and uses. If my tools were where I put them. Oh, another one. Oh, cool. You guys, this is so exciting. Oh, yeah. oh this that. is so exciting, is you great. guys. Mom is gonna be so excited. Gonna out, she is gonna be so excited, you guys. This is so cool. I'm so excited. Thank you all. The two people who sent the yarn, thank you so much. I hope there's a something in the one yarn i'll know by what this card says and then the person that wrote me and let me know they shipped it from amazon i'll touch bases with you um tonight to see if it's yours but please 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 know we are so thankful and mom is going to be tickled pink yes she is yes she is she really is you guys i found a card in this one and it was addressed to wendy and harry so i thought i would read it Deb, are you a Bears fan? James would love this. Oh, he would, wouldn't he? Yes, he'd be all over it. <laughs> oh, I love this. Victorian house. That's like my dream house right oh, there. Oh, yeah, right there. Big salt and shaker type. Yeah? Color. Yep. Hi, Wendy and Harry. You have great timing. I'm in the organizing my house mood. Getting ready to tackle my sewing and craft room. These were going away anyway, and I'd much rather they go to someone who can make good use of them. And it looks like your mom surely can. Keep up the great videos. They're fun, motivating, and I appreciate the technical talent needed and displayed. Thank you for all your efforts. Love, Deb. Deb, thank you so much. My mom is gonna be in heaven. And just so you guys know, my mom's been having major plumbing problems at her house. She has to have, her house is old, just like this one, like 1950s, and she had to have all of her pipes cameraed and everything else, and it's gonna be, she has to get her piping redone. So she is gonna be ecstatic about having the yarn, so it will give her something to do. And you guys, this will keep her busy for a few weeks. You know what I'm gonna have her do? I'm gonna have her bring these 
What? When she's made them yep. and share with everybody her hats or her, the animals she makes with everybody. Yeah, that'd be How cool. does that That's a good sound? That's a good I'll idea. have her do that. I'll have her do that. Thank you so much, Deb. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mom, I'm excited, Mom. You've got mail. What do you mean I've got mail? Well, some of our viewers sent you some mail. That's right. So come on over. We open, we cut it open so that you could get into it easier. Say hi to everybody. Oh, hi. You like presents? Well, yeah, I'm not used to presents. I know. Here, come over here. What, what's in the box, Mom? Oh, yarn, beautiful yarn. Isn't that lovely? Oh, it's gorgeous stuff. This oh, will my, make such pretty hats. Look. Keep going. Baby color. Way oh, down. for baby hats. Yeah, look. and this curly, it'll make really pretty stuff. Yeah, look. All kinds of yarn. All colors of yarn. How I thank you, thank you. This will keep me busy for the go. rest of the year. So at least. Oh, if yeah. you make hats out of it, you've got to bring some to share with All everybody. Right. But here you've got more mail. Oh, so my if you goodness. can come over here. Well, I appreciate the donations. You sure you don't want me to pay for some of this? No, they're gifts. Here's some more. Share it with everybody. Can you see Marty? Oh, pretty, fun. pretty, pretty. Look at the variegated. You always do really good things with the variegated yarn. Oh my goodness. Isn't that pretty? The now, biggest, biggest balls. I can't afford these. Yeah. These big ones. Those are good ones, huh? Oh, they are all good. So this one is from Andy or Andrea, and she said she's sending you these, which are these. They arrived, but she's got more coming. Wow. Three of the yellow and then three pink and two of this color. Now the other one, let me read you the card. The, these are each one person? One person. Oh my no, lord. No, this is one person this and that's one An person. Andy sent you this, but Andrea. Another box is on its way. She's, oh she's my sending goodness. you all of this. Oh but my But you got goodness. this today. Well thank you. It's very thoughtful of you. This is from Deb and Deb says, Hi Wendy and Harry, you have great timing. I'm in the organizing my house move, getting ready to tackle my sewing and craft room. These were going away anyway. Wow. And I'd much rather they go to someone who can make good use of them. And it looks like your mom, Shirley, can. Oh, it'll be perfect. Love Deb Riley. Love oh, Deb. That'll make so, lots of hats. Yes. Lots. And will you bring them, if you make any animals yeah, or hats, bring them to share with everybody so yeah. they can see them. I will do that. Okay. So thank, thank you, you, thank you, thank you. Are you ready for some chili? And we'll yes. get this in, we'll carry this into the house for you. Oh, so good, because I can't care. I know you can't, but I'm excited for you. Oh, that's nice. I just thought there were pretty ones. So it's perfect time of the year, too, to get the hats out. You want to move that light for her? Yeah. Well, you know, I didn't think anybody here in this hot climate would want hats. But they told me at the hospitals that it's cold in the hospital. And they really, really appreciate them. So that pleases me. And it should please you. Thank you. Well, go sit down. We got chili. So as soon as you get comfortable, we're going to go ahead and film our chili, Mom, because I think it's ready. And I'll bring your chili to you, okay? Okay. Okay, the chili is done, so I'm gonna make sure the lid, yep. Here, let me put the chili lid right there, babe. Let's give this a stir. Ooh, yeah. So I'm gonna give mom some chili. Chili ta ow, taco stew. And I got mom some cheese for hers. We are not having cheese on ours. This is for mom. She loves cheese, doesn't she, Marty? Mm -hmm. She loves her cheese. Oh, I'm going to give her all of it. She'll love it. Mm -hmm. So that's mom's. And 
Harry and I. Get some. And of course I took my ladle and moved it somewhere and I cannot find it. Is it in the dishwasher? Probably. Okay. Yeah. Now you guys can use ground beef too, but I had stew meat and I wanted to make good use of it. So I just cut the meat into smaller pieces, you know, about an inch. I gotta take it out of the cozy. Uh, I cut it into about inch pieces. But you can absolutely, you can use turkey, you can use chicken, you can use ground beef, you can use pork and ground beef. You guys can make it your way. There you go, Harry. Looks good. And I think, if you come over here and take a peek, you see. This is the stew. Now, if we weren't doing our protocol, we'd have a dollop of sour cream on there too. Right. But because we are doing ours, ours is gonna just be plain. And that's what we are having. So you guys, it's time to eat. I'd like to get a picture of these, Harry. Ooh, yeah. Look at the bacon floating on top. Mmm, that looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, you guys. Got to eat now. Got to get mom's well of time. You guys, we are so full. No, it's not time yet. You, that chili or that spicy taco stew was amazingly delicious. We ate the entire thing. It's gone. It's oh, yeah. gone. It's, it's, it's but I'm gone. telling Look. you, it's gone. It's gone, gone. Oh, that's not where the bowl is. No, the bowl's behind you. Oh, here. it's in the sink. And there's the bowl. It's already been rinsed. Yeah, I rinsed it. Yes, mother loved it. She ate every little morsel. And you guys, we put a little bit of the chef's smoked seasoned salt on top. Man, was that good. Yeah. It's the icing on the cake and yeah. super easy, super delicious. I'm telling you, you could put any meat in that stew. It could be ground. It could be just chunked like that and make it your own. But it was absolutely delicious it really was so we are done for the day we're gonna go sit down and watch some NCIS we're watching the reruns from the beginning so with mom so she's coming over and um, we turn on those and she stays till 7 and we really enjoy ourselves anyway you guys I'm gonna cross off today I made a mistake and cross this out so go to this one because it's Aline Meats day, eat fowl, fish, shellfish, lean pork, eggs, and lower your fat. You can add one keto chow and move your body, you guys. Don't forget to move your body. We need to put, I might put a star right here because that is the one we're on. Even though I crossed it out. I crossed it out last week for some weird reason. Who knows what I was thinking? I don't know what I was thinking. She wants yes, a Sally dinner. And just a minute, she's not eating and she's been smelling the beef and she's been running back and forth. <laughs> no, between the kitchen telling everybody and the other room. it's her time to eat. I know it's your time to eat. I know. I know. I know. Okay. Let mama do. Shh. 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 Come here. Come here. Oh, you're just fine. Mommy's not mad at you. Okay. Help me out here. You guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the little bell, give us a thumbs up, thumbs up, woo, high five, high five. Okay, and she wants to take down. Say goodbye. Bye, everyone. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's a dinner.